everyone, it's Katie back again for another video and today's video is going to be all about Marist and everything you need to know about Marist. If you are looking to, into going to Marist College, if you just got your decision letter, congrats. Go Red Foxes, I hate myself. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about like everything you need to know about Marist and like the actual truth about it because I feel like when you like go on a tour, like you don't, you get like an overall like feel, but you don't actually know what's going on you know like you don't actually know the deets so i'm gonna tell you basically everything like what to do on the weekends like going out clubs like workload like all that stuff i'm gonna cover and i have other videos i have like a college update video where i talk a lot about this stuff but it's more like me personally but this is gonna be like everything and then I also have other like Marist videos. I have vlogs if you guys want to see like my life. At Marist, I have like weeks of my life and stuff like that. I have a whole playlist, which I'll put right here. But first, a little disclaimer, we're just gonna like ignore my appearance because my hair won't cooperate and I'm really just not having a good makeup day or like anything day. But we're just gonna like ignore that, okay, okay. So yes, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I post every Saturday. I try to post every Saturday. We're so close to 500. And yeah, let's go. I wrote down like a general list and if you have any questions leave them in the comments I'll answer them no big no big who who am I today I don't know first I'm gonna talk about what you actually what's actually to do in the area because I know like I don't remember like what they told me at all and I feel like they don't really go into detail about this in tours because they're talking about like the college so in the area across the street across the street one way is a Rite Aid a Thai food place there's like a nail salon there's like a Mexican restaurant and there's like Red Fox Eatery and like the deli so like that's in one Side. so Rite Aid is pretty much where like everyone goes to just like get snacks and stuff and it's like a really short walk it's literally just across the street the other way there's like a plaza and it has a big lots which just has like a lot of like bulk like cheap stuff I guess no job lots it's called job lot but it's like big lots okay there's a Starbucks there's a Home Depot and there's an Applebee's McDonald's pizza place um, a salsa fresca which is like a Chipotle Moe's I don't think it's as good as Chipotle Moe's but yeah I don't know why they don't have a Dunkin Donuts that's like my petition Brand and Dunkin Donuts and then if you want to go out and like do other things there's like 10 to 15 minutes like down the road down room 9 there's like a ton of stuff chain restaurants frozen yogurt like red robin tgi fridays there's like bubble tea and then there's the mall which is not a very good mall in my opinion i don't think they have too much but there's a target which people go to to like restock food there's like a couple stores like american eagle five below like stuff like that but it's not like super exciting mall so like we do that on the weekend sometimes not really because i just think it's just not that great of a mall so honestly like it, ubering is annoying but if you're willing to like take the uber then like there's like stuff to do yeah and it's not like nothing's close i wish more was close but it's not like nothing is close like you have the right aid you have some food places that are just like a quick walk away and then like up a little bit there's like a place called cosmos which apparently is a really good restaurant i haven't been but like most people have and then there's like a diner now i'm going to talk a little bit about the social scene and then like partying and stuff like that so social scene so <laughs> making friends is definitely harder than you think but this is like for every college so i'm going to start general and then get more specific so some people go into their colleges and they like love their roommates and they become bffs and they do everything together and then everything falls apart don't expect to be best friends with your roommate forever and if you are friends at the start just be warned that you probably won't be and that sounds kind of harsh but like it's true most people don't end up with the same friends they started with because the friends you start with is kind of like a forced situation i guess because like you're in the same place so that's like your immediate who you go close to but once you like expand like you definitely will drift away from them and that's just how how it is so yeah don't be afraid to like talk like the first like week just like talk to a ton of new people there'll be different opportunities but just like introduce yourself to be honest most of the people i like had like meals with and like introduced myself to or like people introduce yourself to me like the first week like i don't know but like i see them around and like i'll be like hey like i remember eating lunch with you make make friends make friends partying so marist is definitely a bar school just forewarned there are like parties that like don't involve bars but there's not too many and they're usually at like the sports houses which are usually like off campus but they're often like really crowded and like the first week they will get busted so so fast but just keep that in mind marist is a bar school but there are there are some parties and you'll be able to find something like if you really want to every weekend like you will be able to find a party it's college okay then this is another Another thing so if you get accepted to Maris and then you like enroll you will go to like orientation where they will show you all of the residence halls and then you get to pick you get to rank them and where you want to live so there's a bunch of residence halls there's three 
like standard like two people residence halls which are Champagne which is where I live, Leo and Sheehan and then there is Marion and Midrise which those are I'm not sure which is which but they have like um triples and like quadruples I think they have like three and four people rooms wow that like is that first like when I saw those I was like first like appealed to me a lot I was like hmm bathroom with sharing with less people no community bathrooms one of them had a walk-in closet I think it was Marion not positive but then when I ranked them I ended up doing Champ first and then I think Leo and then Midrise or Marion I think Marion I personally recommend like the standard like two people dorms because everyone who does live in like Midrise or Marion they say like it's harder to make friends because you you pretty much have your roommates and then like there's a couple hallmates I guess but not really and you're really secluded from like everything else also personally for me like living with one other person is hard enough so if you have to share a room with like two or three other people I think that's just like a lot for like your freshman year of college so if you can don't I wouldn't pick those that's my personal preference if you feel like you want that appeals to you like do it but personally like I recommend doing the two standard two people dorms even though they're smaller no walk-in closet, community bathroom, you get used to it and like I just really recommend it. So Champ, I do recommend. Champ's the biggest one, it is nine floors. The elevators are always broken though, fun fact. Um, but then Leo I think is like six floors and Sheen is like four or something, I don't really know. Yeah, so definitely one of those. I recommend Champ because it's connected to the student center. So if you wanna go work, do work, like you don't have to go outside. If you wanna print something, you don't have to go outside. If you wanna go to the dining hall, you don't have to go outside. I feel so bad, like these chumps like who live in like Leo and Sheen have to walk outside every time they wanna go to the dining hall. Like I can't imagine that. So like Champ, I recommend 420 people live there. Love that for us. Champ is just, it's a place, it's a place, all right? Now I'm gonna talk about classes. So you take about five classes per semester, sometimes six if you if you take like a one credit elective. The first semester, um, the college picks the classes for you and places you in them. Um, You can like switch out, like add drop week is like the first week. You have to take a first year seminar, which you'll be in usually first semester, sometimes second semester, and that's worth four credits. So like every semester you pay for 16 credits and usually the classes add up to 15 and then you can add like a one credit to get to 16 if you want. Marist is a liberal arts school so you have to take your core classes. A science, a social science, history, literature, writing for college, philosophy, ethics, fine arts, I think are all the requirements. I came in with not having to do writing for college or social science or regular science because I got those credits through high school. Marist does accept AP credits um you can find on their website like what they accept as like credit i'm so happy that i took ap bio because i didn't have to take a science in a lab in college and like that is literally like my savior but you don't have to take a language like it's not required so if you're worried about that like you don't have to take that um i did and i'm a french minor so like that's why pathway so this is what they don't tell you about you have to have a pathway and on their website they have like the list of all the pathways and like the requirements for them like the courses you can take and a pathway is basically just like it's not a major or minor but it's like they want you to be like overall like a good student and like well-rounded so you have to take these classes that maybe aren't completely unrelated to your major or minor but you can like finesse it and like overlap your classes it's kind of kind of confusing don't worry about it yet like whatever now i'm going to talk about clubs there's so many clubs and like the first like week or two they'll have a club fair and they'll have like all the clubs and you could just sign up for them honestly you sign up you put your email they email you you go to first meeting if you don't like it you don't have to keep going if you like it keep going you can do as many clubs you want they help get your priority points which is a whole system at maris which i don't know if i'm talking about that later i'll see every club meets once a month at like 9 15 9 30 at night because that's when all classes are over usually in the student center so i am a part of nrfsa which is like the retail club and then maris fashion inc which is a fashion club and then i go to like rhc meetings which is like the residence hall council in champ and it's not a big commitment like you need to go to like half the meeting or more I usually go to all the meetings and then like an event and they put on really really fun events like bake sales and like movie nights and all that stuff and it's just really fun so I highly recommend you get involved in clubs because it does help with your priority points and just makes you more well round well rounded and like for every major or interest there'll be like a bunch of clubs you can like pick from okay now food ladies we gotta talk about food this is the important stuff so I'm just gonna be 100% real with you the dining hall mm -mm. No, no, okay. The thing is, like, this shouldn't deter you from Maris, though, because this will be literally every college. You'll get there, you'll take a tour, and you'll be like, oh my god, there are so many options. Like, I could have pizza, I could have a burger, like, I could have 
dessert like oh my god and that's when I when I saw like college um cafeterias I'm like whoa like there's so much like this is amazing no <laughs> literally after like the first week I was tired of it it seems like there's so many options but when you think about it like those are your options to eat every day and it gets old because you have three meals a day every single day and like I am someone who gets sick of food so quickly and like I can't eat it anymore so like half the stuff in the dining hall like I can't eat anymore and it's not like horrible food like th they do make some good things it's college food like it'll be the same like every college you go to but it does get old so like be prepared for that there are also two like Starbucks on campus one in the library one in the Hancock which is my favorite academic building I love going there to do work those are the to Starbucks. They don't accept like Starbucks gift cards though, but you can use Mara's thrifty cash, which your freshman year you have $75 worth of thrifty cash that you can use um, at the Starbucks. I really wish there was a Dunkin' Donuts, but whatever. Not bitter or anything. So yeah, there's two Starbucks and then there's the cab, the cabaret, which is next to the dining hall, which is kind of like a cafe-ish. They sell Ben & Jerry's ice cream. They sell all different drinks, like teas and soda and like the coffee, like Frappuccino Starbucks things. They also make like popcorn chicken and fries and quesadillas and nachos all that stuff. You can also use your thrifty cash there or you can use like regular money but thrifty cash doesn't have tax. Fun fact so like that's really great. So yeah there's that which is like kind of a savior a little bit. They also have like granola bars and stuff like that. Oh there's also like a couple cafes. Um, There's like a Donnelly Cafe, Dyson Cafe, and Steel Plant Cafe. The Steel Plant is the new building. It's a new fashion and art building. You guys it is amazing. I hope you saw it on the tour. Like it is amazing and their coffee is so good. Like it to me it's better than Starbucks. Just like an iced latte. Like not even I don't even put vanilla in it, which I usually do, and it's really good. So like, there's that. Yeah, that's pretty much it on the food. If you have any like other questions, they have like accommodations. There's like a gluten-free room and stuff like that. And sometimes there'll be like free food. Ari's put on different events, and there always like is like food there. So there's always like pizza. There's a lot of pizza places around Maris. So there's always like pizza. Sometimes like Sodexo, which is the food service company, like puts on random events, and they have like extra food. So like, there's a lot of food opportunities. I guess, but it just gets old. Cereal is my savior this semester. Now I'm gonna talk about sports and like spirit and stuff like that because I was kind of looking for that in a college. Red Foxes, not as spirited as I thought. And people like will go to the football games and basketball games. I love going to the sports games, but it's not like a huge thing. Like it's not like a huge event where like everyone goes. Keep that in mind. Like if you're looking for like a spirited school, like Maris probably ain't it. People do still go to games and like I love going to the games. I'm gonna talk about events really quick. So like once again, the RAs they have to put on events in each of the buildings so like there's like movie nights and there's always there's always free food like everywhere and there's different like arts and crafts things there's just so much that you can like go to and just like, people literally go to just get free food that's literally college house students are vultures when it comes to food okay every wednesday the school has activity hour which is actually like i think it's like a couple hours it's like 11 to 2 i think I think. And during that time, no one has class. And so they put on different fairs, like study abroad fair, job fair, career services, all that junk. <laughs> all that junk. Yeah. Career? What is that? You know, just junk. Like last semester, I have a vlog where I went to this panel, this influencer panel, and it was like really cool. And I have like a day of my life about it. And that was on like a Wednesday during activity hour. The last thing I'm going to talk about is the fashion program because I am a fashion student. I'm a fashion merchandising student. I love the fashion program. If you are want to be a fashion student, like be like Maris is so good. It's tough, but it's really good. There are so many opportunities. Ellie, she um, deals with like opportunities and like emails and connections. Every day she emails about an opportunity for an internship or like volunteering or like you can apply for so many things. There's so many like volunteer opportunities at like Fashion Week and like the Silver Need silver needle runway show which maris puts on every year um and there's different events that they put on like in the city and stuff so like i love the city it's my favorite place ever there's a lot of events where they have like free transportation and stuff also the steel plant once again is gorgeous the facility is so nice the bathrooms are so nice the labs are so nice i've loved all my fashion classes so far i've only this is my second one i've been in i'm in textiles right now which is very intricate and it can be difficult but i like genuinely enjoy it like when i'm sitting that's the difference between college and high school high school you take all these pointless things that you don't care about at all but college you take classes that you actually find interesting i really like my classes this semester um i really like my comm class and i really love my fashion class and it's hard like the fashion
fashion world is hard. People are like, fashion? Like, mm. but it is difficult. Like, especially for design students. Like, if you were a fashion design student, like, I pray for you, sweetie. It's so interesting to me. And like, I'm learning so much because I genuinely love it. I feel like all I'm gonna talk about for now, if you want me to talk about anything else, let me know. Once again, ask me questions in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Um, if it was, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I post every Saturday. And I will see you guys later. Girl Foxes, peace. You know I talk too much. I wanna come put your lips on my shirt.